right. Well, I was going to make chili live in my party, but living in the country and having bad internet, I'm not going to be live right now. So we're going to do it this way and I will just upload it to YouTube, which will take a while. And then I'll put it in the party in the link. So um, I'm going to make chili for supper tonight. Pampered Chef has these new meal seasoning packets. Um, they have chili, pad thai, herb roasted chicken, and scampi. Um, this is the first one that I'm trying, so I will definitely check back in and let you know. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an onion using one of my knives. This is a Santoku knife, and I really love all of the knives. I just got the knife set, and I'm so glad that I made that investment because they are the best knives. I have ever cooked with and I thought I had good knives before but apparently I didn't so basically you're just going to cut the outside of the onion off I hate cutting onions I really hope that I don't cry on camera because that would be sad but I'm not gonna have to do much of the work because I'm also going to use another handy little tool that I have this bad boy right here, we probably use daily in our house. We cook with a lot of fresh onion and we also um, make salsa and just chop up veggies a lot in general. So um, I am going to throw these in here like so. I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way. Put this on here. Okay, this is called the manual food processor, and it is so easy to use. Now, of course, I have kids and they're picky and they don't think they like onions, even though I use them every single day. And so this thing, you can chop the onions up really fine. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. And as you can see, that was really simple. Okay, so I am going to use my rock crock. I love this pan. I use it all of the time. It's like a coated stoneware. It is good for up to right around 700 degrees, maybe a little more. I'd have to check the specifics. It can be used on the stove top. It can be used in the oven. And it also comes with this, or you can order a stand for it that makes this into a slow cooker. Um, it is also dishwasher safe, which is amazing. And so this is what I'm using. I have a little drizzle of olive oil down in there. I'm just gonna heat that up a little bit. And I'm going to put my onions into that pan. We're going to cook the onions now. See, they're getting to me. I'm going to... Whew. Okay. For supper tonight, I also have beer bread in the oven. And I'm making a cheesecake in the new Deluxe Multi Cooker. I did that as a live already, but then my internet bandwidth said, Warning, you live in the country and your internet is slow and so you cannot be on live anymore. So that's why we switched to this way. Um, but I can always probably share that live with you if you're interested in seeing how I am cooking a cheesecake in the pressure cooker. I've never cooked cheesecake and I've never used a pressure cooker, especially not this one. So I'm hoping it all turns out good. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to use my mix and chop to stir those onions around. If you want to purchase any of these tools that I'm using today, you can purchase them from my website and I will link that 
um, in the comments of this video. And, or if you wanted to get them for possibly free or at a deeply discounted rate, you can host a party. It doesn't matter where you live because everything can be done virtually. Um, and so most of my hosts average around $300 in free stuff, plus they get multiple half off items and some 60% off items as well. And so um, it's a really great way to stock up your kitchen if you're looking to do that. Maybe you don't have any Pampered Chef stuff. Hosting a party is the great way to do it um, to save yourself money. But if you don't really care and you just want to make an investment into your kitchen, um, just yeah, go ahead and click shop now. And if you have any questions about any of the products or if you want to see anything demonstrated, let me know. Send me a message, a comment, and I will definitely keep up on those and help you out. So the purpose of these meal packets is to make dinner fast, easy, and delicious. And so when you get home from work, nobody feels like cooking forever. And um, so that's why they've kind of tried to make these things so that you can quickly and easily, with a combination of the seasonings and the tools, get dinner on the table in a fast hurry so you can enjoy the rest of your life. Um, I am going to use my kitchen shears to open this. The kitchen shears also came in the knife set. Um, I really like these because they come apart and you can wash them very easily this way and you're not worried that anything is getting stuck in them anywhere. Um, and so I really, really love these. Okay, so the directions on here say that we are going to cook the onion until it's soft, and then we are going to add ground beef or turkey. I'm using ground beef. This is from our sear that we butchered. Um, it's quite tasty. His name was either meatloaf or meatball. I'm not quite sure which one we got. Either way, thank you. Thank you, meatloaf and meatball. Okay, so we're gonna brown the burger, and then we're going to add the chili mix, which is this. Um, it calls for a can of undrained diced tomatoes. However, like I said, my family's picky and they don't like chunks of tomatoes. So I'm just gonna use a can of tomato sauce. It then says to use a can of drained and rinsed black or kidney beans. I prefer chili beans. So I'm going to add this. I am not going to drain it or rinse it because the flavor is in the sauce. And then it says to use one and a half cups of water. And I've got my water pre-measured in one of our Easy Read measuring cups. I use these things every day. They come in a set. Um, I think it's a one cup, a two cup, and a four cup. And then they also have a little teeny tiny one um, for like tablespoons. And I mean, I've been using these things for probably 15 years about, and it's starting to like crack and get scratched, but that's why I love Pampered Chef, because you can um, buy this stuff like once, and it's good for a really long time. It's not like the cheap stuff you buy from other places that falls apart, melts, cracks, um, and then you have to buy it again and again and again. This stuff that I've been using, I've been using it for so long. That's why I don't have the problem spending just a little bit more to get a good quality product. Okay, so my onions are looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and put my meat in. And then I'm going to try and, I'm using my computer, so I'm gonna try and bring you over and show you exactly how this mix and chop works. So uh, I'm going to turn my pan down a little because it's starting to get hot. And it can hold heat really good. Anyway, if you do not have one of these $16 tools, you need one. Because, as you can see, my hamburger is getting broken down so nicely. And it's going to be the perfect consistency. And it's taking a little to no work from me. 
This is one of our best selling things at Pamper Shop that we have. My only complaint about it is that you also you have to use a different tool to like scoop your food out afterwards. However, in the spring line that they just released, they um, teased us with a um, an updated version of this, which is also going to have a scoop. But they're just perfecting it. So look, come back and check that out. Probably late summer they're estimating that that's going to be released and I'm really excited about that because you can mix and chop and drain and scoop with it so um, hopefully that'll be available soon and it'll work just as good and if not better than the one that I'm currently using okay so we're gonna cook our burger and um, once that burger gets cooked we are going to add in the rest of the stuff so I can start opening that. I don't have to use the can opener because these are just cans like this. But the can opener works really great too. As I mentioned in my previous video, that's on my Facebook Live, not on YouTube, sorry. Um, I don't know if I can make that go on to YouTube. I'll have to check. But anyways, I made the beer bread to go with this. Basically, all I had to do was take the packet of beer bread, a bottle of beer. You don't have to use beer if you don't want. You can use water or anything like that. Um, any carbonated soda. Um, you mix it up. You put it in your bread pan in the oven for 50 minutes. This cheesecake that I'm making, it took about, I don't know, five to 10 minutes to prep. I put it in here. It does all the work. I don't have to check it or anything like that. That's taking 40 minutes. And then this chili um, takes, I'm gonna guess by the time we're done with everything, it's not gonna take that long actively. And then it can just sit and simmer until you're ready to eat. So for beer bread, cheesecake, and chili, I'm probably spending about a total of 15 to 20 minutes actively in the kitchen, and then I'm letting the machines do all of the rest of the work, which is what I like. That's why I also like my favorite chore is laundry, because it does all the work. All I have to do is fold it and put it away when it's done. So, um, I like when things are easy and these things make my life easy. Okay, so these meal packets, this one says that it is gluten-free. Um, it does list the ingredients on it, so if you have any questions about that, you can see that on our website. Um, our meat is just about done here. I'll bring you over so you can get another view of how quickly this is cooking. And what is this in there? So yeah, you can see that the meat is just all perfectly ready to go here. Okay. So that looks brown. I'm gonna add this stuff in. is in. Seasoning. Which smells really delicious, by the way. Water is in. I'm just going to give this a quick stir. Make sure everything's incorporated. I'll bring you guys back over. And 
much. Put my cover on it. Turn it down to low. And just let it simmer. So now I can do homework with the kids. I can clean up. I can get everything ready. That way, whenever we are ready to eat, our food is ready. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If you would like to get some of these things for yourself, go ahead and shop away. And I will see you next time.